Hi YouTube, this your girl, I want that hair. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day on today. Sorry how the camera's position, but I'm braiding my daughter's hair right now. And this is just gonna be number five. It's for you guys. You know, I have braids some other styles, but I have one neighbor's castor them all and she left. But I'll show you guys, you know, pictures and stuff like that, you know. But I do I just wanted to I have got like requests. To, you know more braid be like my first braid oh, yeah, video. You can kind of see this how I got the camera position. I don't have my tripod but you can see a little bit how I braid a little bit. Um, I just kind of just go freestyle with it. I don't really have a plan like a style plan. I kind of have an idea and then end up trying to you know end up switching it up but I'll show you guys what I did. But let me get started. Uh, basically how I braid my daughter's hair. This is style number five and and I, we washed her hair today. And uh, some of you guys ask what kind of products I use. I kind of swing it. You know, her hair has gotten really, it's growing. I kind of trimmed the ends, but she's all, yeah, she's all natural. Uh, we do use, um, what I use? This week I use some John Frieda Root Awakening Improves Hair uh, Shampoo Breakage Prone. It's like a mint kind of spell. Stimulates and feeds the roots. Formulated to reduce breakage and visibly healthier hair. It was on sale at uh, Walgreens. I think I had coupons for it too. So I think I might have showed you guys this. But it's cool. You know, use that. The shampoo. And also the conditioner. As well. The John Freer Root Awakening Improves Hair Growth and Natural Eucalyptus. Strength Restoring Conditioner. Breakage Prone. 30% more free, blah, blah, blah. Instantly reformulation silkens from roots to end for smooth, breakage, resistant hair. So, I used that on there this week on her hair. I mean, today when I washed it and then I had uh, combed it out, blow dried it, and uh, and then before I blow dried it, I used the Motion Foam Wrap. You did? Lotion. Yeah, I put some of that on your hair before I blow dried it from body movement shine quick drying keeps curls a few extra days longer so it kind of helps kind of straighten it out a little bit so use that's so almost gone there so that's what I had used and I just use a regular blow dryer Revlon uh, blow dryer with the comb on the end of it and to kind of blow it out you know not real straight but you know straight enough you know so still She's all 100% natural. I did too. I ended up cutting my hair. Got a little tangled up. So my hair used to be like in the middle of my back. But now I haven't cut it to my shoulder, to my neck now. So I actually like it because it's a lot easier to manage. So I might show all that, but I doubt it. <laughs> but you know, I always wear wigs anyway. So anyway, that's enough talking. So let me finish these braids up. So. Hopefully y'all can see this. So I'm gonna got maybe get probably get two or three more braids out of this here. I know. All right, what are you doing? it up. So let's see here. Make a line going across here. What, what you watching? Huh? What you watching on TV? I guess. Huh? Jesse. Jesse. Yes. Uh, she's watching Jesse on the Disney Channel. Uh, no oil on her hair right now, but later I'll spray some uh, oil sheen <coughs> on it. You know, we don't need a whole lot of heavy oils on it because it kind of kind of you know claws up the pores of the hair. So see here. Have that going down on that side. So put your head down. Second. Like that. Just this part up. Got these clips, I think, at the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree. Yep, those come in handy, kind of keep the hair out the way. Alright, let's 
get started here. And I think I told you guys before, I'm not a professional braider. You know, but I do learn how to do how to braid a little bit. You know. All right, put your head down. I'm gonna get started here. So what I like to do is get three strands. One, two, three. Kind of hard to explain. And just kind of go over. I mean, under. Take one, hold on to that, and then kind of just grabbing for each piece. Just kind of grab a hair and just keep it, keep it moving. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's. Let's grab the camera and uh, go from there. Mm -hmm. I get through, I'll show you guys, but the little end result, and I'm putting like uh, these little snap little barrettes on the end. You do not want to see my bad side. So I'm just kind of just going over. So. little clips here I got from the little you know beauty supply store they, can, they snap put those on the end so basically I just take her hair and uh, I'll go all the way to the end and just wrap it just kind of wrap it around it and then just because um, I noticed with the beads with the um, last time I think I tried beads before with the rubber bands and it or, uh, Rubber bands end up kind of cutting the ends of the hair, you know, where you try to hold the beads, and I said I don't like that, so you know, cutting the ends of her hair, hair, hair off, so I don't like that. So either we just go without our barrettes. Okay. So how you doing, Miss Lady? Miss Little Lady? Uh, yeah, you. Okay. All right, so we got. I'm afraid to show people the real me. More breaks here. And then cross and then down. Okay. Go. Yeah, three strands. Okay, one, two, three. Just one over. Just kind of grabbing a hair as you go. about probably could stay at least for a month or so. Normally sometimes I make bigger braids when I don't really feel like doing a whole lot of braids. And, and this could last a little longer if she wrap it up. You know, sometimes I you know had give her a scarf or either maybe like a wig cap to put on it and kind of keep it laid down. But you know, as long as she take care of it, keep it laid down and don't get it all wet and stuff, it'll last, you know. So it's convenient for me, at, you know, in the morning trying to get ready for work and for her too. You ain't got to worry about her hair because her hair is really thick. Whew. We be having the time with it. We be having the time with a time with a time. Just wrap it around like that in the middle. And snap it. All right, last braid. Yay. 
The last one. Took like little breaks. Take the braid out, it'll be hard to take that part. That's the last one. Wrap it around there. You know, these are only like a dollar. They can get like at least 50, 100 or 50, like that. So, okay. we need to do all right. You're done? Guess we're all done here. Whew. I don't know what the heck I've got going on here. Hmm. Yeah. All right, that's one side there. Let's see. Maybe I can pull it. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's, do, let's turn to the back. Got this, the back kind of going that way. And kind of going down. That's that. <laughs> that's the side there. Kind of going. Got two of them going starting here. Kind of going that way. I'm going that way. Let's go to the other side. Going like that. So this one I think I tried to put your head down. This one is kind of looping around. Can you see? There we go. It's looping around like that. I was going to try to do something with like all together, but I think I got tired or something. But that's two. But this one starts on this side, comes around and back loops, and comes back around to the back there so that's the top how that look that's a little loop i'm trying to show y'all that's the side there and uh that's 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 gonna see let me see the back on this side so you see i've kind of braided it going across and down there like that and then that's like that so this is a cute little hairdo should last kind of going to the side just let them see the front of your face scoot down a little bit scotch down <laughs> all right i guess you're trying to take pictures okay that's that some of this it's called cantu i believe cantu shea butter conditioning oil sheen spray made with pure shea butter leaves hair shiny silky smooth softens condition deep down helps to take care from heat damage so i'm going to spray some of this on hair to kind of give it a little bit of little shine to it all right cover that my little turn up right there the candle oil Afterwards, you know, when you're braiding, you don't need all that oil on your hand. Yeah, wipe it down. That's all I'm saying. Turn it down. It helps kind of lay down them hairs, too, that are, you know. I'm going to just rub that in. Some people like to cut it, but 
I don't even do all that. I have to do all that. Something like a little piece of hair. Yeah. Okay. Real ninja. All right, you guys. So there she goes. There she goes. She playing with my little candle fire. So far, I like it. So far, it's cool. It was cool. My little candle, they be on it more than I do. All right, you guys. Hope you guys like it. This your girl. I want that hair. And uh, hope you guys like it. Hope that was helpful. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys soon. Be sure to subscribe, like it, and comment. Holla. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>